we got a new animal on this farm. We are gonna introduce you to Milo. Milo came from a bad situation. Wait till Kate sees you. And welcome to today's video. I'm so sorry that I have been <laughs> missing in action for the last month. <laughs> I have been so sick the month of December. I am just starting to get over it now. Now I have a lot of catching up to do on videos. <laughs> so I am going to, over the next couple of days, start posting some of the videos that you guys have missed. And I realize there has been so much that has been happening here that we need to catch you guys up on. And one of those things is we got a new animal on this farm. Who came to us? Milo. Milo. So we are gonna introduce you to Milo. Come say hi to everyone. This is Milo. We were not planning on getting another dog by any means, but he came into our life unexpectedly. Milo came from a bad situation. He needed a home and someone to love him and someone who was going to be willing to deal with some of his issues. And so we decided to be that home for him. And he has been a wonderful little addition to our family. He is slow to trust people. So we have been really patient with him, gaining his trust, working with him. Because I was sick, I haven't been able to put videos up, but I was recording some footage when he first came and I just wanted to share some of that with you. So we have a new little family member. <laughs> he doesn't look skinny, but when you feel him, he's like a skeleton. He is super bonded to me. He doesn't want to really leave my side. This is the first time since we just introduced him to Charlie that He's even left. Scott's desperately trying to get him to come to him. Come on guys, let's go for a walk. Come on. The girls are so excited to come home today. <laughs> Play with the dog. Just came in from our walk, having a little treat. Maggie's getting a little more brave. They're all sleeping here. I just woke them up trying to get the camera. Got Maggie over here, Charlie. And this guy. Oh, Maggie. She's like, this is my couch. Hey, this is my couch. Girls are gonna be home from school soon. It's fast asleep. Check him out. We're just taking the dogs on a walk. He's had an accident in the house, so we're just doing lots of frequent walks with them. We're just waiting for Kate to get off the bus. Oh. <laughs> they are full of mud. They've been rolling today. Yeah. We're gonna have to close up this paddock for the winter, I think. They're starting to rip it up. You are covered in mud, buddy. Look at this side of his face. Come here, buddy. Oh, you are a mess. Wait till Kate sees you. <laughs> you all are. Look at all the mud. I think I hear Kate. I almost put on my mask off because it was like between the window and my back. Oh. And then it like thudded on the seat and I, don't forget that, turned around. She is a test. Yeah, look how much mud he got on him. Hi, Andrew. He 
He's covered in mud. So are the other two. <laughs> I can't really see it, but like his, his feel is like bones though. Oh. And like all up here. Like even his head. Oh, yeah. I know. Like he's so ribby and like you feel like his whole spine yeah. and like his shoulder blades and everything. We've discovered some things. He does not like stairs. Really? He's, specifically. he's terrified of them, so he won't walk to the living room that way unless someone's with him and the lights are on. Otherwise, he comes all the way around and comes through the dining room. <laughs> I think he's ever seen. He discovered toys. So he loves this one little toy. But see, he goes, he goes the long route around. He loves so, cuddles, though. Yeah, he's very cuddly. Doesn't know basic things like sit or come. He, he, yeah, he doesn't know sit at all. He yeah. does not like to be away from us. Definitely has he separation anxiety. Yeah, he definitely has some separation anxiety. He definitely wants to be like right on your hip. He does not want to stray far. If I like go to get up, if I have to be sitting yeah. right beside him, if I go to get up, he like, he comes well, to better, follow me. He's better now. He's like within a room or two. <laughs> oh, get it quick. Yeah. He just definitely. stepped on it. He also flinches if you go to, you have to, if you go to pet his head really quickly, he kind of ducks away like. Yeah. Or like if you walk. If you, if, yeah, sudden movement. movements or anything like that, he gets yeah, scared. Like, I don't know what's happened to him. He really trusts us though. Like he's very yeah. snuggly. He wants to be like right with you. He wants hugs. He's not skittish with us at all. Just, it's more just if there's something sudden. And surprisingly, the dogs are all getting along really well. Yeah, they are. Maggie actually likes him, which she doesn't like any dogs. Yeah, sure. She's even, better with him than she is people, with her. Yeah, Maggie's not. If we're being honest. <laughs> Maggie's a, a high maintenance dog. There's two. Goodbye. Well, missing one. Come here. Oh, here he comes. Oh. Come on! You loving the snow? He's been here two weeks now and he is starting to gain some weight. He is still really nervous of things. Like he, I don't think he's had much experience being loose in a house. Like we're wondering if he was maybe kept in a crate quite a bit. He's doing a little bit better with his house training. He doesn't know how to ask to go out. So we take him out every one to two hours and then he's good. But if he needs to go to the bathroom, yeah, if he needs to go to the bathroom in the meantime, he doesn't know how to ask to go out. So, and if he has an accident in the house, he automatically cowers and he thinks he's going to get hit. So he's starting to learn that he doesn't get hit in this house and he doesn't need to worry about that. It's like really heartbreaking to see the things that he's afraid of. He? He is really starting to become just a happy dog. Oh, do you have your friend? I do. <laughs> Charlie's feet get cold quickly on the snow. <laughs> he loves the snow. But he doesn't like cold. the he yeah, doesn't like the careful, boots. Careful. Come here. Do you have your friend? Alright, let's go run. He's like, do I go with some or do I stay?